Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my sandpipers? How are you, my seabirds? Well, I hope you are all doing great. Today, we are going to learn about the bones and muscles of our body. This topic it belongs to lesson number five of your book. Dear kids, each part of our body is important as we do different things using different parts of our body. We use our both hands and legs to run, to swim, to skip or row. Kids, have you ever thought what these body parts are made of or how they are connected? Our body it is made up of different kinds of cells which differ in shape and size. Now what is this cell? Cell it is the basic structural unit of our body. Cell, cell is the basic structural unit of our body. Very good. Now my dear kids, try and do this. Try to touch the front part of your knee. Blow the knee and touch the back of it. What do you observe? The front part is hard whereas the back is soft. Isn't it? Yes, it is. The harder part which you touch is called the bone. And the softer part which you touch is called the muscle. Got it? Harder part, it is called the bone. And softer part, it is called the muscle. Got it? Very good. Very nice. Bones and muscles, they help us to do different tasks like picking up a book, scribbling and mowing are means towards the chest. Our bones and muscles, they help us to do different kinds of activities like picking up a book, scribbling and mowing means towards the chest. Dear kids, let us learn more about the bones. Bones, they have a hard outer layer and that is made of calcium. What is that made of? Calcium. What? Calcium. The bones are connected with each other and the places where two bones are connected is called a joint. What is a joint? Joint, it is the place where two bones meet or it is the place where two bones are connected. You can see a joint between your upper arm and your lower arm. You can also see a joint between your hip, uh, uh, between your thigh and your uh, lower leg. You can also see a joint between your hip and your thigh. These are all called the joints of our body. Joints, what do they do for us? Joints, they help us to bend our body. Joints, they help us to bend our body. Very good. They also help us to turn and twist our body. Do you know dear kids that a baby it has around 300 bones and adult it has around 206 bones. Baby it has around 300 bones at the time of birth because at the time of the birth most of our bones they are not fused together. But as we grow up our bones become more stronger, more in length. So as we grow up a um, number of bones that reduces to 206. Very good. The bone joinings are hip and knee. That is known as the thigh bone or femur bone. And do you know kids that femur bone or thigh bone, it is the largest and the strongest bone in our body. Femur bone or thigh bone, it is the largest and the strongest bone in our body. Dear kids, all the bones of our body join together to form a skeleton. What is this skeleton? Skeleton is the framework of bones. What is skeleton? Skeleton, it is the framework of bones. This skeleton, it helps us to move and protects the soft organs of our body. Skeleton, it helps us to move and it also protects the soft internal organs of our body like our brain, like our lungs, our heart. 
this skeleton it protects all the internal organs of our body now dear kids let us learn about the muscles our bones they cannot move on their own they are covered with muscles which help them to move our bones they are covered with muscles which help them to move muscles they make nearly half the weight of our body there are about 600 muscles in our body how many muscles 600 muscles very good the only muscle exposed on the outside of our body is the tongue tongue it is the only muscle exposed on the outside of our body dear kids do you know if we blink our eye we move 200 muscles at one time one more thing the smallest muscle that is present inside our ear and that is known as the stipus what is the smallest muscle of our body known as stipus and it is present inside our ear dear kids it is the muscles which help us to smile frown yawn and kiss muscles they help us to smile frown yawn and kiss there are more than 30 muscles in our face how many muscles are there in our face more than 30 muscles the muscles they are covered by a layer of skin our muscles they are covered by a layer of skin now dear kids if you touch your nose and your earlobe you can observe that they are neither hard neither soft but they are stiff and flexible and they are known as the cartilages 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 are the stiff but flexible part present inside our ear and nose cartilages they are the stiff but flexible part present inside our ear and nose dear kids when we grow it is actually our bones and muscles growing when we grow it's actually our bones and muscles which grow dear kids we shall keep our bones and muscles strong we can do so by eating healthy meal by exercising daily and by maintaining correct posture what is this posture the way we sit stand or move is called posture what is posture the way we sit stand or move is called posture dear kids we should always maintain our correct posture when we sit we need to keep our back straight against the back of the chair and keep our feet on the ground when we stand we should keep our shoulders and back straight when we move we should always keep our arms straight Sting, standing or moving in wrong posture can lead to many kinds of defects in our body dear kids always remember that healthy food exercises and proper posture they help us to keep our body healthy fit and strong what healthy food exercises proper posture they help us to keep our body healthy fit and strong dear kids always take healthy food exercise daily always start your day with sala with offering sala as sala itself is a good exercise and learn some more exercises to keep your body healthy fit and strong and always maintain correct posture Dear kids, now here are few activities for you which you need to perform at home. First of all, you will learn some exercises and do them regularly. You will prepare posters on foods that are good for bones and muscles. You will prepare posters on correct posture to look healthy. Dear kids, it was all about the bones and muscles. Hope you have understood it well. Our next topic, inshallah, will be about the food for health. Till then, take care of ourselves. Fiyamanillah.